What's up YouTube, welcome to Cars Cost and Technology, and as you guys may have already figured out from the thumbnail and the title of this video, unfortunately the Corvette had to go to the dealership to have a repair done. Um, thankfully I do have the car back now all as well, and I did want to wait until I had the car back in my possession before I released this video because I'm going to give you a full summary from beginning to end as far as what was wrong with the car, what was done to it, and the outcome of those repairs. Um, so to start from the beginning, basically what was going on, about a month or two ago I started to feel a shaking or shuddering feeling coming from the rear end while I was cruising anywhere from about 30 miles an hour to about 60 miles an hour at low rpms it, it the only way i can really describe it is it felt like i was driving over rough or bumpy roads even if i wasn't and unfortunately there was really no way to capture it on film to share with you guys because there was no audible changes in the car there was no visual changes in the way that the car drove um, there was really nothing that I could capture on video. It was just a feeling that you could feel in the seat itself or your foot on the pedal of the car shaking or trembling almost again like you're driving over a, a rough or bumpy road. So I did a little research on my own and was able to come across a lot of forums suggesting that these uh, symptoms are coming from a torque converter issue. Apparently it's fairly common with the automatic A8 transmission in the uh, C7 Corvette that after roughly 10,000 miles or so some other owners have experienced similar problems. Um, so I went ahead and called my friends over at Bradshaw Chevrolet, told them that I, what I felt like may have been going on. They were able to get a technician in the car and he was able to confirm that it was definitely something going on with the torque converter. Um, they did order a new torque converter for the car to replace it, but we were able to come across the TSB um, as somewhat of a prerequisite to replacing the torque converter. There was actually a uh, process of doing a full fluid flush uh, to try remedy the issue and they went ahead and did that first, which I'm very thankful for because I wasn't all that excited about them uh, tearing into the car and replacing the torque converter uh, it's just kind of unsettling having your car ripped open like that but they went ahead and did the fluid flush and this is a very involved flush I actually have a link in the description to the TSB where you guys can check out um, the process uh, or if you think that your Corvette may be showing similar symptoms you can read more about it and what the uh, repair process entailed but it was just multiple fills and flushes of the transmission cooler um, basically getting all new fluid in there. And then you have to drive the car for approximately 200 miles after the flush has been completed to see if that uh, resolved the issue. I've driven the car for about 300 miles since I got it back from the dealership. And I'm really happy to report that it seems to have done the trick. You know, so far I'm not experiencing anywhere near the same shaking or shuddering that I was before. I can't 100% confirm that it's all the way gone and they are still keeping the torque converter for me there at the dealership just in case if the issue arises again, we'll have it available to go ahead and switch it out since we've already done this step as basically ruling out every other option. But um, hopefully we won't go to that extent. I will keep you guys updated on this, uh, let you know if the uh, flush seemed to have fully resolved it or if there ends up being you know the need to replace the torque converter anyway but um, so far so good and uh, I'm very thankful that we didn't have to rip open the car and do the uh, full torque converter change um, and that the entire process was covered under warranty so that's always a good thing you know no cost out of pocket to get the fluid flush completed nor for the loaner vehicle in the meantime so very very thankful to Bradshaw Chevrolet for taking care of that for me their information will be in the description if you guys are looking for a new dealership to service your Corvette at and you're in the area um, but anyway, definitely bring your car by your local dealership if you're experiencing these symptoms. It may be a relatively easy fix. I know I was extremely nervous thinking that I was going to have a whole lot done to the car and it ended up being um, just a day or two for them to actually do the fluid flush itself. Obviously a little more time to diagnose it, but nothing too major. So my I am at ease now and very thankful to have the car back. Um, but wanted to share the video with you guys in hopes that may help any other Corvette owners experiencing this issue. Uh, before we end this video, I did want to also, also point out to you guys that I am uh, kind of ramping up activity on the Instagram page for the channel. I did mention it a while back that I opened the uh, Instagram account for the channel. I uh, wasn't really posting a whole lot on there, but now I'm uh, much more active posting, you know, um, sneak peeks of upcoming videos, behind the scenes footage while I'm filming, as well as just daily photos of my car, other cars that I'm reviewing. So definitely check the uh, Instagram page out. I think you guys would enjoy it. Um, the, the YouTube channel is growing really fast. And I'm so thankful for that. We're approaching almost 6,000 subscribers. So extremely thankful for that. And it's just been awesome to see the channel grow. But the Instagram page, on the other hand, only has about 150 followers. So just want to make sure all you guys know that I am active there and have the page. I uh, would love for you to follow that. I would love to follow you back as well. Um, it's also an easier way to communicate with you guys since the DMs are just a little bit easier to manage than say YouTube comments. Um, 
But anyway, you know, definitely check out the Instagram page. I'll have a link in the description so you can follow that if you're interested. Um, but give this video a like if you enjoyed it, if you if it helped you or it may help another Corvette owner um, that is experiencing this issue, definitely share the video with them uh, and consider subscribing. You know, I've got a lot of other Corvette content on this channel as well as other car videos in general. But definitely let me know in the comments if you've had anything similar happen to your Corvette and what the outcome was for you. Uh, but anyway, guys, hope you have a great day and thanks again for watching.